All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakadash, the honors to the elder apostle, Ray Millstone, who taught me his truth and rule well, peace, blessings, and salutation, I come out there to get to the four corners of the earth, that's serving the truth, not true sincerity, to I say Shalom. This is the button of Bala, come to another video in the spirit, and the top of this video is going to be about keeping the fear of the Lord. And I'm just going to get straight into it. This is Sirach 33 and 1. It says, There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord. But in temptation, even again, he would deliver him. Con. So, it says that there shall no evil happen unto him that fear the Lord. So, that's why we have to keep the fear of the Lord. Because ultimately what the Lord is protecting us. Like it says in Psalms 34 and 7. The angels of the Lord and come and run about them that fear, that fear him. Okay, so the Lord is is protecting us. Okay, we have that hedge over us. Okay, we don't see on an everyday basis what the Lord is doing. You know what the angels are doing. What the Lord is keeping us from, man. You know, it's especially the times we're living in now. You know, we're we're living in very dangerous times, man. When the Lord is basically passing judgment every day. You know, you can't basically go a day without seeing some type of accident or seeing something on the, on the news feed about some type of uh, some some type of killing or some type of uh, some type of crime going on. You know, I just seen um, I I believed uh, yeah earlier earlier today. Um, I was just going down the social media feed and I seen that um, a person uh, pepper sprayed four officers. So it's just showing you how things are really getting wild out here. And we're at the end of this year, 2023, and we're entering to 2024. So we, I can only imagine what Apostle Hart going to coin this year and just seeing the things that are going on in the spirit, you know, seeing how, how things are, are, are ramping up, you know, and seeing how prophecy is, is speaking, you know, is it only you only you can basically sense that 2024 is going to be uh, interesting year. I'm going to say it like that. So while we going through these times, we want to make sure that we keep in the fear of the Lord because what we want the Lord to what? To keep us from the evil things that happen. The scripture is talking about um, these are evil times, man. The, uh, the days are evil. So through these evil days, man, we want to make sure that, that we're doing what we got to do and we're keeping that fear of the Lord to protect us. And it says also, but in temptation, even again, he would deliver him. It's going to deliver us from temptation as long as we keep that fear of the Lord, man. And keep and keep and keep the Lord. Yeah, how about you? I'll shot first. I'm going to grab this. This is Psalms 119 and 120. It says. My flesh trembleth for the fear of thee. I am afraid of thy judgments. Come on. We are afraid of the Lord's judgment because the Lord is the Lord is terrible. You know, when it comes to him um executing judgment, man. The Lord is doing terrible things out here to people. The way the way the Lord is 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 taking people out, man, is man, we I I can speak for myself. I I'm not trying to partake in that. You know. Like like brothers say, I ain't never died before. I don't know what that feel like, you know. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that shit hurt. You know, it's death. You know, death not no pleasable thing. You know, even even when people be talking about, um, I want to have a peaceful death. You know, I want to go in my sleep or something like that. You don't know how that works. You know, people people be thinking like the Lord just probably just you know withdrew, withdraws the spirit from the body. You know, and you don't know the people that he was going through complications. You know, he, 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 the Lord is stopping from breathing and he's suffocating. Like, we don't know. And I'm not trying to find out. So that's why I should say, my flesh trembling for the fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgment because we can see how we see how the Lord works. And I'm going to grab this in Psalms as well. This is Psalms 9 and 16. It says, The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work in the work of his own hands. Higayan Saleh, 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 Salakia. 
if I said that wrong. But it says the Lord is known by judgment, which he executed. The Lord is making himself known by the way he's executing judgment. Okay. And it's and it's basically open season on, on any and everybody. On on kids, on women, on 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 the elderly, on anybody. Anybody can be touched. And is and is and is and is righteous judgment coming from you? How about Shem Yahweh Shai? Okay, because people be thinking because they be asking like if a kid or a baby or a toddler you know is taken out, they 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 want to be questioning you know, they want to be questioning the Most High, like why? But we we here in His ministry believe in reincarnation, so you don't know, you don't know what what that kid did in their past lives to deserve that. And also, we don't we don't know. The Lord knows all, so you don't know what type of um, the type of person they was gonna be when they grew up. The Lord could have been doing people a favor, but ultimately, it's, it's righteous judgment from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But just seeing the things, see, just seeing how, you know, like what was going on over there in uh, between uh Israel and, and Palestine, you know, how it was a lot of kids being being taken out. And one brother shared a picture of of a, a baby that was halfway blown up. That was that was, it was it was gruesome. Like you could see the baby insides how, how gruesome it was, man. But that was judgment from the Lord. So you see things like that. If the Lord is doing stuff like that to 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 toddlers, to infants, what you think He can do to you, someone who's who who know better? I'm gonna say it like that. Who know better? Especially us in his ministry, who who we got this wisdom and our understanding, so we know the things we're supposed to be doing. We know what we're not supposed to be doing, okay? So that's why we gotta always keep that fear of the Lord, and that fear of the Lord is gonna what? It's gonna keep us on that straight and narrow, okay? Like we like we say, we we walk on eggshells, man. We're not trying to do nothing for the Lord to jack us up, cause we know that the Lord, you know, we we understand that we are gonna catch hell, but we're not trying to add no more. Telling us that we already going through. But Jake out here in the world, they, they don't they don't understand it. They don't care. It's not that we don't understand, they just don't care. Because they got that, man, I'm a, I got one life, I'ma live it. That's that's really how they think. And especially when they're young, they want to just live it up. They want to do it all. Do it all. And and then think that they can make amends in the end. No, it don't work like that. You know, you got to be, you got to live right now. You got to start doing it now because the scriptures talk about laying up your up treasures up in heaven, man. We trying to lay up our treasures in heaven. So we trying to make all the deeds that we're doing now acceptable to your how about your shot to Lord, to y'all right this out where we, we're saved, man. Because that's ultimately what we want. We want that salvation. We want to be saved from what's coming to this place, man. Let me grab this. <laughs> this is um Deuteronomy 6 and 24. It says, And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear the Lord our power for, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is at this day. Con. So it's a commandment to, to fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. It's saying to do all these statutes and to do, and to do this work, man. To abide by the law, statute, commandments that he's given to us, the Israelites. The only nation that he's made a covenant with. Okay, so so to fear him and to do his and to do his and to do what he told us to do, basically. And it says for our good always, it's in it's in our best interest to fear you out about your mom's child because what? It's gonna work out for us. It says that he might preserve us alive. Like I just like I quoted Psalms thirty four and seven, the angel of the Lord counted around about them that fear him. The Lord is protecting us. If you're fearing him, if you're truly serving him, he's gonna protect you, especially in the times that we're going into. We're gonna need that. You know, we're gonna see some we're gonna see things that we've never seen before. We're gonna encounter things that we've never encountered before. But what? Having that faith in Yahweh Shemel Shah. 
And and the Lord, and if you don't fear the Lord, he's going to make you fear him. Now, we don't need the Lord to convince us. The scriptures say, nor in the terror of the Lord, we, we persuade men. So we're trying to persuade the others about the fear of the Lord. But we don't need we don't need the Lord to, to, to give us any examples. I mean, we see it. The Lord's going to do it. But we don't need no more. We get it. We understand. So we just, we trying, we're doing our best to stay on the Lord's good side. We ain't trying to pit. We ain't trying to put no unwanted attention on ourselves. We want the Lord to look at us and be like, oh, okay, he he okay, he doing he doing good, he doing what he supposed to be doing. Okay, and keep it moving. I'm gonna grab this. This is uh First Samuel twelve and twenty four. It says only. Fear, only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart. For consider how great things he have done for you. Yeah, consider the great things the Lord has done for us. Okay. The Lord has brought us back to the, to our true heritage. To be able to call on his names again. I'm talking about in these times. Being able to call on his name again. Bless us with his wisdom and knowledge and understanding. You know, the things that we go through in this life, the Lord just find a way for us to get through it. He's blessed us with the brotherhood, man. All these things that how about you Shah has done from us just from what was from us fearing him and serving him. But like it says in the scripture, in truth with all your heart, with all our heart. Only him. Turning from our old to who we were in the world and come to serve him. All these things the Lord has done from us. To 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 um bless us with knowing the secrets, man. Which is what? These words, these scriptures, man. The Lord has done all these great things for us, and He's going to do even greater things for us the further down the further down the line, as long as we what? Just continue in this ministry, just continue in pushing his word and, and continue to choosing the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He's gonna to continue to show up for us. And you gotta believe that. You really gotta believe that. Let me grab this. Let me go back to uh, Psalms. Let's just say it. This is Psalms 25 and 14. It says, The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will shew them his covenant. Kind. So the secret of the Lord is what? With us. Because what? We fear Yahweh Shem Shah. So the Lord has, has, has opened up the books for us to understand these secrets. Like in how Shasha is, it was give, it's for us to know these mysteries. For the rest, it's not given. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture. It's for us. Not for everybody else. It's only for the ones who's who's doing this with, in, in truth and sincerity. That's why when we open up our videos, we say that. Serving the Lord within all truth and all sincerity, because that's important. You got, some, you, man, you got some Israelites out here that's half assing, man. That's not doing this thing in all truth and all sincerity. They doing this thing because it's a trend. They doing this thing for their for their own personal gain. They're not doing this to. They're not doing this to really, to really help uh, help Jake out. Which is the best way to help Jake out is what to give him this word correctly. You know, tell them, like, yeah, they tell Jake that they're Israelites, but other than that, what are they doing? Are they telling them about the MOTB? You know? Are they telling them about Jacob's trouble? You know? Are they telling them about how we're going to be saved out of this place? Like, are they, oh, are they, what are they doing? They're not telling Jake what they're supposed to be telling Jake. And and you post and you can't be added to this word or taken away. You gotta you gotta break down this word how it's given. But you got you got Jake that's not doing that. That because what they don't fear the Lord. They 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 don't they haven't even they haven't fully gotten to the scriptures or they, they read it and they don't fully believe the things that's that's in these scriptures. But it's okay because the Lord is gonna He's gonna show you. 
Because the Lord talking right now. He's talking to what? His men, the prophets. But it's going to come a time when the Lord is not going to talk anymore. He's going to start showing up. Read his last scripture. This is Proverbs 14 and 27. It says, The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. That's plain and simple, man. It says, The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. That's, that's, that's it. And to depart from the snares of death. That's plain and simple. I don't need no breakdown. So. Man, continue to keep choosing the fear of the Lord, man. Continue to keep the fear of the Lord. You know, don't. Man, it's, n it's nothing in this place, man. It's nothing in this place for us. Okay. You know, just continue to pray and continue to keep serving the Lord. And that's it. So I'm going to close off by giving our praise to Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Bashem, Rakakadash. Shalom.